Richard Wortham of the University of Texas on the mound for the United States. We're in the fourth inning, and the Cubans lead the U.S. team one to nothing. Armando Capiro with a swing and a drive deep to left field. Look out. That one's out of here. It is two to nothing now. The Cubans have taken a lead. We've got a small but enthusiastic crowd here, and I don't have to tell you, they are pulling for this Cuban team. Baseball, very popular in Mexico City, but a lot of fans are home tonight watching the seventh game of the World Series between the Boston Red Sox and the Cincinnati Reds. In the fifth inning now, still two to nothing, with them on the mound. Ground ball to second, Paul Stevens can't handle it. So the young infielder from Chicago is charged with an air, and the Cubans have runners on first and second, and nobody out. Rodilio Bennett. Cuban starting pitcher do up. Wortham still on the mound for the U.S. You might recall earlier this year on the Sports Spectacular, he pitched the Longhorns to a national championship in Omaha. Checks the runners. Bunt laid down. Gustafson out. He's got to play a third, and he elects not to go. Instead, he wheels and goes to first. He uh, retires the pitcher at first base, but you could see clearly there in that picture, he should have gone down to third base for an attempt to pick off that lead runner. So the Cubans now will have runners on second and third. One out. U.S. infield pulled in. Wortham looks over. Wilfredo Sanchez, the batter. Chopper. Wortham can't get it. Krenchikian. Throw to the plate. He's out. Fine play by Krenchikian. Gustafson, watch here now. Wortham can't get it. Krenchikian's got to release. Wortham's got to get down out of the way of the throw. He's on the ground. And watch the young catcher from Northbrook, Illinois. Blocks the plate so very well with his left leg and then applies the tag. So the Cubans, though, still have two runners on, and here's their toughest hitter, Alfonso Urquilio. With him, looks at first. Deals outside. Line drive, right field. Clopton comes over, can't get it. One run is scored. Here comes the second run coming around for the Cubans. He's going to make it. They now lead 4 0. Here's Urquilio. Takes a turn. He's got a thought, and they bring him back. So for just a moment, I thought we were going to have a chance for an inside the park home run, but instead he holds up, and the United States and Richard Wortham now trail the Cubans by a score of four to nothing. There you can see in slow motion how close Clopton came to that drive, and once he went down on the ground, it was hard for him to get back up. Ninth inning now, the United States has rallied. They're right back in this ball game. It is 4-3. Catcher Gustafson is the hitter. Julio Romero now on the mound for the Cubans. He's their third pitcher. Line drive, and the tying run is on here with two out in the ninth inning for the United States. The hitter is Ron Hesse. Big first baseman, 6-2. He can pull the ball hard down that right field line. Tying run over at first base. Romero checks Gustafson. Line drive. Oh, it's caught by the first baseman. He wasn't even sure he had the ball, and it's all over. And so the favorite Cubans defeat the United States in a fine baseball game here in the Pan American Games, 4-3. to three.